Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. In today's video, we are going to discuss about binary subtraction or the subtraction of two numbers in base 2 or binary form. In my previous video, we discussed about binary addition. So, in today's video, we will we'll discuss about binary subtraction. Okay. So, first we will discuss the rules, okay, the basic rules associated with subtraction of two binary digits, okay. We know that only two symbols, two bits are allowed in binary number system 0 and 1. So, let us see the rules which are associated with the subtraction of one bit from the other, okay. So, first. 0 minus 0, it is equal to 0. This is the same as we do in normal subtraction process, 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 0 is equal to 1, okay. So, this is also the same as in normal subtraction process. The third rule is 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. This is also the same as we do in normal subtraction process. Now, the most important rule involved in binary subtraction is 0 minus 1. Okay? So, this 0 minus 1, how it is done is that in binary subtraction, okay, the binary subtraction, this process can be performed only when we perform subtraction of a smaller magnitude number from a higher magnitude number. For example, 7 minus 3, 5 minus 2, here I am representing them in decimal form, okay, in decimal form, but uh, in uh, binary form we can state it like this, 1, 1, 1 minus 0, 1, 1, this 7 minus 3, 5 minus 2 is 1, 0, 1 minus 0, 1, 0. Similarly, only when this upper number is higher than the lower number. Okay? Only a lower number can be subtracted from a higher number so that the result comes in positive. Okay? This binary subtraction. We cannot perform something like 3 minus 7 okay? using these rules. When we use the complements, 1s and 2s complement representation, we can perform this but that is a different thing which we are going to discuss in a different video using complements form 1s and 2s complement that is a different concept but using normal rules of binary subtraction we can only perform a subtraction of a smaller number from a larger number this cannot be done or 2 minus 5 cannot be done or uh, 1 minus 2 cannot be done okay so that so here what we do for 0 minus 1, okay, for performing a bit operation such as 0 minus 1, because even when we subtract a lower number from a higher number, this kind of bit operation can we can come across. So, what we do is that we borrow a 1, okay, we borrow a 1 from the neighboring bit. Okay, from the neighboring significant bit, okay, this 0, it borrows a 1 from its neighboring bit. So, this 1 0, okay, this 1 0, this in decimal form, it is 2 actually, 1 0, it is 2 and this in decimal form is 1. So, it is actually 2 minus 1. So, it is equal to 1, okay. 
this 0 minus 1 in, in when you come across a 0 minus 1 operation what we do is that this 0 bit okay that 0 bit it borrows a 1 from its neighboring bit then when it borrows a 1 it becomes 1 0 mind you this is not 10 this is 1 0 which in decimal form is actually 2 okay 1 0 is 2 and this 1 is 1 in decimal form so 2 minus 1 this is actually 2 minus 1 which is equal to 1 okay so this is the this one is the borrow bit which is borrowed from the next significant bit okay so this is the most important rule of binary subtraction this concept of borrow okay so let us uh, perform some uh, subtraction operations so that you understand this rule in a better way okay so here uh, we are going to discuss some examples on binary subtraction okay so let us perform the subtraction of uh, two binary numbers that is 5 okay 5 1 0 1 and 4 1 0 0 so in decimal form the result is 1 5 minus 4 is 1 it's obvious now let us check it in binary uh, representation 1 minus 0 we know according to the rule 1 minus 0 is 1 0 minus 0 is 0 and 1 minus 1 is 0 so this is 0 0 1 which is actually 1 in decimal form so we got the same result so here let us take another number let us say we just change this one let us say this is 3 ok so now the operation becomes something like this 1 0 1 minus 0 1 1 ok now here it is 1 minus 1 is 0 according to the rule here here this important thing comes into play 0 minus 1 ok 0 minus 1 we cannot perform this directly so what this 0 bit does is that it inquires to its neighboring bit ok let us say to its neighboring friend ok 1 and asks him to borrow uh, to lend him a 1 bit ok so he asks his friend to give him his 1 bit so what his friend does is that he gives him the 1 bit and as he gives him the 1 bit he himself becomes 0 because when he gives him the 1 bit he is left with nothing ok so he helps his friend the 0 bit after getting 1 this 0 bit it becomes 1 and 0 1 0 ok it is actually 2 in decimal form this is in binary this is in decimal so you can think of it like performing a decimal operation ok you can think of it like performing a decimal operation so this is actually 2 so when 2 minus 1 is done the result is 1 ok so this 1 0 minus 1 or 2 minus 1 is 1 now here as this one bit has given has exhausted itself and by helping his friend okay the zero bit by giving him the one this bit this one bit it becomes zero because he has already given his one bit so it becomes zero and this zero minus zero is zero okay so here the five minus three is just actually 
2 okay so this here 0 1 0 is also 2 okay 0 1 0 is also 2 so we got the same result here also in binary subtraction we got 2 and here also in decimal the result is 2 so the result is the same the answers are the same so understand this operation okay this 0 bit it inquires with its neighboring friend the, the 1 bit and asks him to give him a 1 bit this 1 bit after giving this to this neighboring 0 bit it becomes 1 0 and this bit becomes 0 this 1 bit gets cancelled and becomes 0 so this 1 0 you treat it as a decimal number 2 okay 1 0 you treat it as a decimal number 2 you think of it like 2 then you perform 2 minus 1 1 0 minus 1 is actually 2 minus 1 so 2 minus 1 is and here it is 0 minus 0 as the 1 has already cancelled itself out by giving exhausting its 1 bit its value so it becomes 0 so 0 minus 0 is 0. So let us see another example so that we understand it in more detailed way. So here is another example on binary subtraction okay. So here we are going to subtract 7 from 9. 9 minus 7 and the result in decimal it is 2. So here in binary form it is 1 0 0 1 for 9 and 0 1 1 1 for 7. So now let us perform the subtraction. 1 minus 1 starting from the LSB it is 1 minus 1 it is 0 no problem according to the rule. Then here it is 0 minus 1. Okay, so it cannot happen directly, we cannot perform this operation directly. So what the 0 bit does is that it asks this bit, the neighboring bit, its immediate neighbor, okay, its immediate neighbor in the next significant position. He inquires whether he has a 1 bit or not, but this 0, okay, it is a 0 bit, this is a 0. So this 0 bit he asks his neighboring bit okay his neighboring friend this is a 1 so what this 1 bit does is that it cancels itself out it becomes 0 and he donates his 1 bit to this 0 bit okay 1 0 so now you can treat this 1 0 as 2 1 0 as 2. Now, what this 0 bit does after getting this 1 and becoming 2, it he keeps 1 bit with himself and gives the remaining 1 bit to his friend, to this 0 bit. Okay? He keeps 1 bit with himself, he exhausts 1 bit and gives it to the neighboring bit, 0 bit okay this bit so this becomes 1 0 that is 2 and this which was originally 2 after giving 1 bit to his neighboring friend he becomes 1 so here 2 minus 1 okay you think of it like 2 okay this 1 0 you think of it you think in your mind that this is 2 okay 1 0 as 2 so here 2 minus 1 is 1, here this is 1 because this 2 after giving 1 it becomes 1. So it is 1 minus 1 is 0 and here this bit has already donated his 1 bit so it becomes 0. So this is 0 minus 0, 0. Okay? So here the result is 9 minus 7, 2 and here the result is 0, 0, 1, 0 which is actually in decimal form, this is in binary form and in decimal form it is 2. So understand it here, this is very crucial because there are back to back 0 minus 1, 0 minus 1 operation. Okay? So this there is no, no problem with this operation, 1 minus 1 is 0 
here it is 0 minus 1 it cannot happen directly so what this 0 bit does he inquires with his neighboring friend this neighboring 0 bit but here it is 0 it, how can he help because he has no 1 bit so what he does this 0 bit he inquires with his neighboring immediate neighboring bit it is 1 so what this 1 bit does he donates his 1 bit to this 0 bit so it becomes 1 0 think of it like 2 okay because in decimal form 1 0 is 2 think of it like 2 so what this 0 bit does after becoming 2 he keeps 1 bit with himself okay it becomes 1 and gives the other 1 bit to this 0 bit so this 0 bit after getting 1 bit becomes 2 1 0 is 2 so now we can perform the subtraction operation that is 2 minus 1 is 1 here this is 1 1 minus 1 is 0 and here this bit has already donated this 1 bit so it becomes 0 so 0 minus 0 is 0 so we got the result 9 minus 7 is 0 0 1 0 which is actually 2 so we got the same result in both decimal and binary subtraction operation okay so you practice a number of uh, uh, subtraction operations uh, on binary numbers so that you get hold of this concept how to apply this concept okay so the important critical thing is to think of this one zero as decimal two think of it in your mind don't write this okay if you are a beginner you can start off by writing it as two but you think in your mind that this is two and then you perform the subtraction operations the borrow operations like that okay you think of it this one and zero as two that is the important thing you think of this one and zero as two in your mind you think it like that and then you perform the subtraction and the borrow operations okay so here we have discussed uh, some problems on binary subtraction okay so you practice some more problems on that okay so that you get hold of this concept the zero minus one how to borrow a one bit so that it becomes one zero think it in your mind that it is two and then perform the further subtraction and borrow operations to get the result so okay uh, you i hope you like this video and uh, please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much